but we still have lots of milk, butter and cheese. Tacos. Hey Freunde, and was geht ab? Zu einer neuen Folge von The Walking Dead Season 1. In der letzten Folge sind wir zwei Leute begegnet, die anscheinend eine Mockerei betreiben mit einem elektrischen Schau äh, Zaun und anscheinend mit genügend Essen. Wir schauen uns jetzt uns an. Ich hoffe, das ist keine Falle. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. Probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. <laughs> What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Uh, uh, it's it's a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. It's just fair. How many people you got over there anyway? Uh, Tima. Not many kids. Well, ten actually, if you count the new guy. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always hooking this shit. And it's. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it all for yourself. What should we do? Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. Hope they move on. Well, we stop Envy. Fuck you! Ah! Ah, you Fuck you! Fuck you! Shit! It's a damn fight, Ella. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Nimm doch die Armbrust mit, das ist eine gute Waffe. No, dann, dann bleib da liegen. Oh ja. Das sieht gut aus. Das ist doch nicht belohnt. Die Fans halten sie aus? Du bist ja. Sie fragen wie like Bugs in a Zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh wow! You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. Oh wow! You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Holy moly! <laughs> Sorry. 
Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Take this. All right. See you later. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Not Andy. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Hey, what's that like? I thought that was it. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Okay. See, it's my awesome size, my shirt. So, how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just... it popped out. <laughs> that guy's a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. Uh -huh. Ugh. Yeah, and also that show. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Looks like he's stuck. And this keeps. Looks like he's stuck. And he said, when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, then these fences are going to be. It better be. This is mine. 
Schon mal, ich will kein Spiel das, das eine machen. Ah, ein Pfeil. Disgusting. Geht's aber, oder? Ja. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. We've got enough people to take this place by force if we have to. Sheesh, Lee. You sound like Kenny. There's another one. <laughs> Kenny. I see it. I thought it was a guy to answer commands. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Und die Hände bleiben da jetzt dran. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're going to be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. Oh, that's a sound. Are you If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. A little help? Okay, come here, Sean. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah, ah, the shit, what the? Get to the gate. Get down! You asshole! Jesus! Holy shit! We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. Ah, ich hab Glück Reach the gate. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah, I can't run you shit better. Try to hunt you then. Get closer to our food, you asshole! Those are leaves with the outflasher. Oh, oh, the tissue wood on. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to We have no time barrel. Oh, oh. Ja, das ist die Tür, oder nicht? Ah. Oh oh. Noch einer. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Ach du Scheiße. Das ist so klar, dass, noch, dass noch einer lebt. Ey. Ich sehe sie sich, sechs, sechs, sechs. Ah! You okay? Yeah. Fair. Come on. The gate's right there. Ich bin da. Ich habe da. Danke, Junge. Let's get out of here. Go 
einfach ein Pfeil in der Schulter. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning, killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. Christ, maybe you were right about this place, Lee. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were gonna give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Doug? Since Doug ate half the biscuits on the way to get us, I had them stay back. I still don't think we should be trying to stay here, and someone's got to watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. I mean, I wish you'd say so few by then. But I'll just eat another time. Um, yeah, Leute, aber leider ist die Folge wieder vorbei. Deswegen sehen wir uns morgen wieder um 18 Uhr bei The Walking Dead Season 1. Und, ja, Leute, dann würde ich sagen. Habt noch einen schönen Tag und wir sehen uns morgen. Peace.